Mystic Force. Well, that's a great. Yeah, we're here to, today. Today, I'm here to review Power Rangers Mystic Force, and oh boy, I have a lot to say. That for sure. So, so let's just get it out of the way, okay? I like this season, but the other time, I don't like it. All right. Alright, let's start with the characters first. Sorry. Let's start with the characters first. So, we have... So, so let's, start with, so let's start with our Red Ranger, Nick. So, Nick, what can I say about Mr. Nicky Boy? <laughs> well, the show focused way too much on him as a character. In the beginning of the show, beginning of the show all we know is that he's... He's just this guy just traveling to different places to find his to find his biological uh his biological mom and dad. <laughs> and he find that he he finds out in the show he find out in the show why why he uh why he uh why he was in Blywood in the first place. Because his mom is Mudana. Get it? Well, yeah, we all know. We all watch this before, so. That's what I was saying. I'll be honest with you. The show relies way too much plot rise on Nick. Because they said that, oh, he, oh, he's the light. He can defeat the darkness. I'm like, okay, if he's the light, what about the, what about the other four? What about, I know that, I know that, I know that I know I know that the other four are, are the son and daughter of Madonna and uh, Leobo, but uh, just what, what about the other four? Not just Nick. <laughs> the show the show relies way too much on Nick's on Nick's character for plot. Like literally every like like every episode, of someone he's seen it. Well, of course, yeah, he he's the Red Ranger, duh, but. What I'm trying to say is that I wish Mystic Force had it had some of Ranger's own focus episodes because we didn't get any here. Well, I you know, I'll say it back. There's like there's, there's like a couple here and there, but yeah. But the, but yet there weren't a lot. <laughs> and that's just uh That's just uh sad to be honest with you. I'll come back on uh, I'll come back and talk about Nick uh soon. So let's go on to our Blue Ranger, Maddie. Maddie What can I say about Maddie? Uh she's cool, but at the same time I have a feeling that she had a thing for Nick, which no duh of course she did. But uh she was okay. A little bland, but uh, she was okay. Nothing like special, I can say. Again, then she's not order or from uh she she's not or or chan from uh Magic Ranger, so <laughs> so yeah, she was okay. I'll say. <laughs> I can tell that she was the shy type that. That they want to associate with with anyone else except for her friends and sister. I don't blame her. I'm shy too, so I'll give her that. So let's talk about let's talk about the best green. Well, 
one of the best Green Rangers, I'll say. Xander. Now, Xander is a rare type of specimen because at the first time, I want to say that, it, the last time I watched Mystic 4 was 2019 when Power Rangers was still on Netflix. <laughs> After we watched the whole entire show, I can say the benefit of doubt that Xander is definitely one of my favorite Green Rangers because <laughs> just like Bridge, Xander uh, Xander is just that guy who loved to flirt. But yeah, all he gets is butt kick too. He's like, oh, right, what's up? What's up, mate? My name's Xander. <laughs> you, you, don't mind, you, you don't mind if we you, you pass straight through, right? What happens next? Oh, a monster kicks his butt. <laughs> but uh, no, Xander, uh, Xander did not remind me of Mako. Mako? Ma, Mako from uh, Magic Ranger. He he not my man Japanese counter Japanese counter Richard Light. Though he kinda does a little bit at the end by by getting by getting Nick the pet prep talk, but under that, yeah. Xander uh is a good character. Besides him besides, besides him being a goofball at times, he can get very serious. Like I like how he told Nick his backstory of, of when he came to America that he had no friends and no one liked him. <laughs> And also, like, uh, yeah, in the final episode, Xander told Nick to, look, Xander told Nick to, uh, answer to others. And, uh, <laughs> that was pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. That was pretty cool. Xander does not get a lot of attention. And that breaks my heart. Cause he's so, he's so cool. I like him. He's funny, though. He might be somewhat a bridge. Kind of. But, yeah, yeah, he ain't, but, yeah, he ain't, like, the true bridge of this show. We're gonna go on to a Yellow Ranger now. <laughs> Chip, aka Bridge 2.0. And oh boy. <laughs> bridge, no bridge. Chip, remi Chip uh, reminds me of Bridge because both, because when I'm watching the whole show, between him, Xander, and Phineas, all three of them made the crack me up, made me laugh so badly. <laughs> Chip, Chip is just a random guy who just likes to say random stuff, but yet, at the same time, he's always right for his theories. Like, he, like, he proved that he proved to others that V is a vampire. I'm like, why, why y'all underestimating this man? He knows his stuff, for Pete's sake. In SPD, in SPD, Jack and others did the, in SPD, Jack and others did the exact same day to Bridge about, about, about that one, about that one monster, I forgot her name. For Nova? Yeah, for Nova. <laughs> it's the same logic here. Y'all underestimate y'all underestimating my man Chip. Don't do that. Don't sleep on Chip. Chip is dope. Ah oh, man. We don't we don't underestimate we don't underestimate the boy Chip around here. Just saying. So, um, <laughs> oh, sorry. So, um, back up saying, yeah. Chip is just a random guy. Yeah, he he did not remind me of Sabasa from Magic Ranger. Again, then, Magic Ranger, Sabasa was like the serious type, the serious type second older brother. But Chip over here, no. Chip is serious, yeah. There are moments, there are moments in the show that Chip was very serious. But, uh, but uh, yeah, he nothing like Sabasa, which I like. He, again, he might be more a bridge because both because well, bridge well, because bridge is basically the American version of Sen, which I like about that. <laughs> but Chip reminds me of somewhat a bridge a little bit, and I like that. He's bridge, but he's a yellow, but yeah, he's the male Yellow Ranger, and I like that. <laughs> I like that. I was just waiting for him. I was just waiting for Chip to make some butter toast. Then we're all good, but nope. <laughs> So let's go on to Vita. I think is completely different from Hokachan from Magic Ranger. <laughs> but right, I'm gonna make a lot of comparison to Magic Ranger, so pre so uh be prepared. Vita is the complete opposite of Hokachan, because Hokachan is just a street cute innocent innocent girl. Innocent somewhat valley girl. Who's uh, 
who basically see any handsome guy she likes and try to go try to do some kind of marriage arrangement or date them for some weird reason. I don't know. Vita, nope. Vita's not like that. She 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 basically your somewhat average tomboy. Where <laughs> yes, I say tomboy because she acts like a tomboy in the show. You're somewhat your somewhat average tomboy who wearing who wears pink while while listening to music every time. <laughs> She's totally not like Hoka Chan, I like that. <laughs> I'm not I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> so uh <laughs> So that's also that not saying but uh no. Vita? What can I say about Vita? I like her trash talk, but at the same time, she was, she wasn't, uh, she was an interesting character, I'll say. Yeah, she wasn't my favorite, because I felt at times, Vita, I felt at times, I just felt at times they wasted the, the other cast members, because they were focusing way too much on Nick through the whole entire show. Because... In past power in his season, if I could think of one that focused on one ranger instead of all the other ones, then I must be pretty stupid then because I don't I don't remember that. If I can remember, then yeah, but I don't remember that having other powers in season except for Mystic Force because Yeah, Mystic yeah, I'm gonna guess that production of Mystic Force was limited and on a tight schedule as well, so they had told so they had made like a lot of choices for the show rise. Which ends up being a, uh, what can I say, a, uh, somewhat of a complete disappointment? Somewhat, I said. But uh, I'll, go on, I'll go on to that later. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So, so, so uh, back I was saying it. Vita's character was good, but at the same time, they didn't they didn't do a lot with her. And that's sad because I really, I really do like her actress. I wish that they I wish they could have done more with Vita on the show, but they really didn't though. Well, besides the fact that besides the fact that they did, besides the fact that they did like the episode of her becoming a vampire, just like Hokachan and Magic Ranger. Other than that, yeah. Also, I will get credit credit too. I love the fact how yeah. Vita was doing her Vita was doing that one pose when she was a vampire. <laughs> if you watch Magic Ranger, when Hulk Tron became a vampire, you know you know you know what pose I'm doing. You know what pose I'm talking about. <laughs> but uh I, I like what they did there with that. That was pretty genius, not gonna lie. That was pretty genius, not gonna lie for them being dead. So let's go on to uh Korag. No hold on. Overall overall what do you think of Vita's character? Good, but at the same time I just good good that's good character, but at the same time wasted potential. Just saying. So let's go on to Korag. And oh boy. <laughs> Matter of fact, no. Before we do Korag, let's talk about Mudana. Mudana was basically the mentor of the Mudana was basically the mentor of the group, and I like that. To be honest with you, she, she basically was the mentor of the group. I like her because she had because she had like a lot of serious. She had like a lot of good wisdom for all the members of the team, which which was really good. I'm not gonna lie. And also, I, I do want to say that I do feel I know that I know that a long time ago her uh, her actress uh, her actress is no longer with us. I do feel sorry for her loved ones and her friends and family. Uh, yeah. So uh, I will say this about Madonna. <clears throat> I felt like the sh I felt like watching the show. They somewhat relied way too much on the subplot about 
about who the heck is who the hell who the heck is Liam Bo? Not Liam Bo, uh, Bowie. Sorry, who the heck is Bowie? And where Madonna missing son Bowie at? And when we find out when uh when we when we find out that Nick was fighting his dad who was the Korag, Madonna can't Madonna came to the came to the case came to the truth found out oh, Nick is my son. <laughs> This whole time, my son was the Red Ranger, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, my son's the Red. My son's the Red Ranger. Um, how many times have Power? How many times have I seen Power Ranger or Kamen Rider? Oh no, mostly in Power Rangers and Super Sentai. It been revealed that oh, this one ranger is my son or sister, or my daughter. Honestly, yeah. honestly, I think, honestly, I think like besides Care Major, there's also uh, I can't, I can't think of another one. I was gonna say Comrade Black, but no, nah. Even though uh, even though Shadow Moon and Kotoro. Even though no, even though Nonsco, even though Nonsco and uh, Kotaro are somewhat step brothers, because because they're related by blood, I'm, I'm not gonna count them. I'm not gonna count them. It's ironic that I say that because I have my Senkoku Seiho Shadow Moon on my desk right next to me, and I love this figure so much. Buy Shadow Moon is a good figure. <laughs> <coughs> Anyway, back on. So anyway, back on saying it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's uh, yeah. <laughs> they. I somewhat did enjoy the Bowie some plot. The not Bowie. The the the, the Bowie some plot. I don't know who the heck her son was. But at the same time. Uh. When they when they when they revealed that it was Nick, I was like. Oh. Of course, because well, again, it'd be like it'd be like what it's been like three years since I rewatched this show, and this is just and this is just me from saying it from watching it all over again. I personally didn't care for it. I'm sorry, I did not care for that. I personally did not care for it because it just dropped the ball. The show just dropped the ball when it, when it, when it, when it was revealing itself to that moment. Yeah, sorry, but not sorry, though. So, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say there. So, so let's go on talking about uh, Daggermon, our sixth ranger. <laughs> and Jinji as well. Well, uh, well I'm going to talk about both of them, Cole. I'm going to talk about both of them at the same time, Bo. So, yeah. So, let's talk about Daggermon and Jinji. What, what can I say about them? I like Daggeron, besides the fact that his actor is Darby Kruger himself. <laughs> Daggeron was actually a cool teacher. He definitely reminded me uh, of Hakata Sensei from Magi Ranger. But here, Magi, here, uh, here, uh, Daggeron has what? Feel way more, feel like the uncle of the group. He was a cool guy, not gonna lie. He was, he was cool as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. He was pretty dope in the show. He was pretty dope in the show. Not, I can't lie about that. I did enjoy, I did enjoy seeing him fighting Korag multiple times because those, cause those, those were some pretty good fight scenes. Not gonna lie. I was like, okay, all right, all right, Dak, come on, come on, come on, beat your, beat your mind control, beat your mind control master. Well, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool, not gonna lie. <laughs> so let's talk about Jinji. I like Jinji. <laughs> I can't I'm gonna say that I like Jinji. He he definitely reminds me of Smokey and I like that because of that. <laughs> so get that so that out of the way. So let's go on talk about Claire. I like Claire. Seems like seems like a good crumb. 
I wouldn't call her the female boom because no, no, there's someone else with no, there's someone else, there's someone else with that with that name and title on the show. We'll, we'll get on to him soon. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but uh, wait, wait. I said boom. <laughs> I meant piggy. But yeah, Claire basically the female boom, and I like that. <laughs> Not gonna lie. She became a full-on sorceress in the end of the show, which I like because I really did. I really did like the backstory about 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 her being connected to Mystic Mother because that was like her. That was like her mom. That was her mom a long time ago in that war. That was pretty. That was pretty good. Not gonna lie. <laughs> I was not gonna lie. I think. I think. Not gonna lie. I think Claire's. Uh, I think Claire's hot, but that's just me. <laughs> <clears throat> so, uh, <coughs> oh, sorry, oh, sorry. <laughs> so, uh, let's so uh, what's next? Oh yeah, <laughs> let's talk about Phineas before before we go on to the villains. Phineas, I like Phineas. Basically, piggy, but an ogre. He had a. He was very helpful to his whole entire show, and I like that. He didn't he he didn't backstab none of the Rangers like pig like, like piggy and SPD, but uh, I actually like piggy, not piggy me, um Finny. I like I actually like Finny because Finny was just that guy who just weird, but yeah, at the same time he's just <laughs> at the same time he just. He's just a regular average troll slash ogre, minding his own business in the forest while helping the rangers out, and, I, and also getting a lot of good life lessons. <laughs> I like Phineas, Phineas fin character in my book, a great character. <laughs> so uh, let's so uh, let's talk about Korag. I'll be honest with you, as a little kid, I was a big fan of Korag's suit. And design because he looks so dope. And I remember a long time ago when, when, when I moved to my first house. I remember a long time ago. Uh, I bought a a I bought a, a well, not a real sword, somewhat rubber sword and a rubber shield, and tried personally Korag. And oh my god, it felt badly, but 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 yeah, I didn't like Korag in the show. He, oh god, sorry. Korak definitely reminds me of Wozar from Magic Ranger. I like that. He gave me the same vibe as Wozar. While Wozar was cool and awesome and serious, Korak, on the other hand, was a little bit way more serious, you can kind of say. Yeah, I like that. Not, yeah, I like that. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I did. I did enjoy. I did enjoy every scene with Korak appear and saying, hmm. "I did. I did enjoy every scene with Korak appear fighting the Rangers while I'll try, while I'll try to beat the crap out of them so many times." <laughs> so let's so let's go on and talk about. So we're talking about Korak. I, I want to bring out in the room. I actually like Liam Bo. I somewhat, I actually did somewhat, I said somewhat, I actually did say, I actually did somewhat enjoy the subplot with, uh, with the Corex, uh, being, well, Nick's dad, Liam Bo. <laughs> I thought, I was like, oh, shoot, really? <laughs> That's so cool. Again, 2019 is the last time I watched this show. It's been three years, so. <laughs> I'm like, oh, really? Wow, that's so. Wow, that's so cool and awesome. I can't believe it. While I, while I love uh, the Wolf. The, why I did like the, the Solar Knight. Whoa, so that is. Why I did like Leon Ball's suit. At the same time. It felt at the same time I get at the same time I get the context with the suit. 
But yeah, I kind I kind of prefer Korax suit over over Lebo's other suit. His about his Ranger form. I meant to say his Ranger form, because aside the fact that aside the fact that it's literally just literally just a repaint. I kind I kind of like the purple because the purple looks so good. Listen, we, listen, we need more evil rangers that 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 have like that. Okay, we need more evil rangers that literally had to do with the color purple. Besides Stacy, because Stacy was somewhat both. He was evil in he was taking an anti hero, but at the same time he kind of reminded me of both. But under Stacy. We need more like evil rangers that had to do with the color purple because I love that. I need more. I need more evil purple rangers. I'm trying to say. <laughs> Toby, get on that. But uh, yeah, Korag was pretty cool. While I somewhat enjoyed the Lebo some plot, I do. I do prefer. I do prefer a little bit. I do prefer. I do prefer. A, I do prefer that. I wish that Korax stay a little bit in the show, a little, little bit of show more. But uh, but it's whatever. I'm not happy about it, but I just wish that Korax stay a little bit in the show before, before the big reveal. Oh, he's Leobo. <laughs> okay, so who's next? Ne Nikolai. Meh. I will say this. I love the fact how yet yeah, Disney had to make a brand new Nikolai costume because the Japanese footage of Nikolai sent that kind of part. If you watch Magic Ranger, you see, you know, you definitely know, you definitely know what they did with, with her, uh, with her outfit. Disney had to uh, remake that whole entire suit for censorship, and <laughs> makes sense at the same time. It makes completely sense, but at the same time, uh, Disney must Disney must have got to be very careful with using Sentai footage from her because of that. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go look up Nick, Go look up on you. Go look on Google. Look at a side side by side comparison of Nikolai outfit from Magic Ranger. And for Mystic Four, you see, you see a totally different because they, because Disney had to make a brand new suit. Literally, Disney had to make a brand new Nikolai suit because of that. Also, I'll be honest with you, I'm kind of happy that uh, in Mystic Force, Mystic Force is a mob because Magic Ranger. Well, imagine she's basically these she's basically these two golf princesses. That's basically nightmare. She's basically these two golf princesses. While both while night and mare are cute though, but but that's for a whole different story. <laughs> so uh what's next? Oh yeah. <laughs> So, so let's talk about uh, who else we talk about. Let's talk about the villains. I, I have not kept up with the other two villains' name because they were just boring. The first boss of trying to serve the master. He basically had. He basically had. A, he basically has a. Okay, my dog's barking. He basically has a, a hot head temper. That's pretty much it. On to the next one. The mummy dude. I forgot his name. Ah, he was annoying. I did I didn't care for him. I personally did not care for him at all, so. On to the next one. Let's talk about the uh, let, let's talk about the monster. Well the ten tailed beasts, I didn't call. They were uh I didn't like them, not gonna lie. They all they all serve their purpose, including uh, Nabu. Not Nabu, uh the Egyptian Pharaoh monster. I forgot her name. <laughs> forgot her name, my bad. But I like them. Also like those also like those four monsters that appeared 
in some walk right before the four monsters that appear when the ranger are fighting them. I will say this, I'm kind of laughing how yet, uh, I'm laughing how yet, uh, when Chip are finding that one, that, that, that one, that one, uh, Banshee, or oh, Siren Monster, they, Disney had to edit out the Magic Ranger footage of Tsubasa saving that, saving that one girl from the Siren. This, what Disney did basically is, they look at that, they look at that footage, they edit it out. The, <laughs> it makes sure that no one saw it. <clears throat> now, here's the thing. Not the first time Disney tried to get away. Not, not the first time Disney was being lazy by using, trying to use Japanese for trying to say that, trying to say that, uh, oh, uh, this is not Japanese footage. <laughs> so, I'm going to get, get off sidetracked, but, uh, in Power Ranger SPD, in the Samurai episode, when Grum was getting the backstory about the Samurai from the past, in that backstory, you see that they use Decker Ranger for this uh, Bond's actor, who basically played Bond's ancestor. In uh, I watched SPD. I watched. I watched. I rewatched the episode. Uh, they didn't credit. They didn't credit uh, Ryu's son. They, they they didn't credit his actor. Not know why again. Then this is Disney we're talking about. But at the same time, y'all same time y'all thought Disney, Disney. You really think I wouldn't know this? I love Decker Ranger. It's my favorite show, Sentai show. But y'all y'all really thought I wouldn't know this, huh? Y'all ain't slick. That's for sure. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> so, so pretty much, they did the exact same thing here. But, but, <laughs> Disney ain't slick. You need, you need to stop doing that. And that's the funny thing, because I can, I, I, I know, I know I'm not the only one, but I'm actually like one, I'm actually like in a few people who have to tell the difference between Japanese and original footage for Power Rangers. No joke. I can tell the difference between them because I watched both versions of the show. I'm not trying to flex or anything, but, but that's just me. That's just me. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, uh, pretty much. The monsters were okay. The ten tail beasts were pretty cool. I like to. I like to do, I love Tubo. I like, I what name Tubo? Yeah, I think my name is Tubo. I like Tubo. He, he basically, he basically, he basically didn't want to harm like no, no animals or no one. I like that because it reminds me of a Japanese cow from Magic Ranger. That's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Tubo's awesome. <laughs> uh, so what else? Wow, what, what, what else are we talking about? Oh yeah, the the master. I actually like the master and his cool design. Not gonna lie. I so I I I'm not gonna lie. I actually did, but I actually did like him possessing him, saying that we gotta go take care of the, of the light one. What's the who's the light one? Oh, Nick. <laughs> he possessed Nick. He turned to Korag. And so, and I actually did, and I actually did like that. I actually did like that battle. Not gonna lie. Leobo know that he's not gonna defeat his son. And I like that. I actually do like that. So, uh, <sighs> sorry about that. So uh, let's talk about uh. So let's talk about my uh main problem with this show. Oh, I forgot about Claire. Uh she was okay. I like her at the end. I like I like I like what they did. I like I like I like what they did at the end with her, but yeah. So let's talk about Claire. Uh what can, what can I say about Claire? 
Not because I'm mean. Let's talk about my main problem with the show. I know that this is a f- I read this somewhere, but uh, the p- the producers of the show wanted to focus on Nick because they had like a lot of unused Sentai footage on, from my whole Sentai Magic Ranger, and and they used that for their very like, literally. They have a lot of unused Japanese footage of Magi Red. They could have used for Nick, but no. But no. They made they made Nick the main character. <laughs> so basically Nick basically Nick had that typical shoulder plop plot armor. And that's like that's like one thing I didn't like about the show. The show focused around way too much on Nick. And it shouldn't have, like for real. Like Come on, really? An SPD, an SPD. When Kruger, when, when Kruger reveal, when Kruger revealed that 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 the B squad pin always work at SPD, it made perfect sense there, because the, so, the somewhat plot for SPD was basically basically a typical space cop program. That's pretty much it. It's basically a typical space cop program. Ninja Storm. Ninjas are fighting. Ninja, ninjas are fighting. Ninjas are fighting an evil space alien pirate. Not pirate, but evil space alien dude. Which keep in mind, I want to say who whose nephew is the Green Ranger of that show. Dino Thunder. Madman, dinosaur madman, want to make the world prehistoric again. Pretty much. Operation Overdrive, basically in the in a jump, but Power Rangers. Pretty much it. It's basically in the in a jump, but Power Rangers. Jungle Theory, martial arts. <laughs> Marcel Arts RPM a doom of, a doom of popular city that that basically ruled by a madman by a madman computer You see what I'm trying you see what I'm doing I'm naming the plot of, I'm naming the plot of every other Power Rangers show and season But the Mystic Force it's basically did oh Mystic Ford, believe in yourself, believe in yourself, while also focusing a lot on our main character, Nick, because he's basically the freaking main character of this whole show. I wish Mystic Force, I wish Mystic Force was somewhat like Magic Ranger, but focusing on all five characters, because Magic Ranger, it focused, it had like a lot of good focus episodes on all five siblings. <laughs> on Otochan, uh, Otochan, uh, <laughs> Hokachan, Kai, Tsubasa, and Mako. And Mako. And Maho. <laughs> and maybe a little bit on my boy, uh, Hakana Sensei, aka Maggie Shine, but other than that, Mystic Force. Nope, 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 didn't get that. That just, ugh. That just, ugh. Also, this the show a lot show love to bring up about the darkness, this and that. The darkness, this and that. I'm like, okay, but pre, pre tell me this. What's so bad about the darkness in this show? What's so bad about it that that it hurt? It hurt everyone's magic. What's so bad about it? Because I I watched the whole show. I watched this thing and I did not. They did not give her any info. They didn't even tell. They, they did not give any info about what about what's so dark about this dark magic. Ah, great! My dog's barking. That's great. What's so bad about what's so bad about <laughs> my dog barking? What's so bad about this dark magic? Please tell me. I'm all ears. I'm all ears because I'm not. I'm not seeing it right here. I'm literally not seeing it. 
Don't know what to say there, but whatever. <sighs> okay, my dog, my 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 dog barking. <laughs> I got, <laughs> but uh, not know what. But okay, at least in Magic Ranger, they tell us about they they tell us about 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 the darkness and all that. But here, yeah, Mystic Force, nah. All we know that all we know that there was an ancient war a long time ago, and the in the five uh the five uh, the five children warriors fought the dark fought uh the master's army while sealing him, and also while sealing him away. But uh. <laughs> But uh, yeah, that's basically it. The, we'll, we'll talk. We'll talk about the darkness. This and this. The darkness. This and then like okay. What well, about the darkness? Nope. Nothing. Nothing. Just. Just nothing. Just nothing. Meanwhile, Magic Ranger. Magic Ranger show basically all about family. About about family can beat anything. Can achieve anything. And that's what I like about Magic Ranger. I freaking love Magic Ranger. It's one of my favorites. No joke, it's in my top five. <laughs> Mystic Force. Mystic Force is not Magic Ranger. It's not up there with Magic Ranger, my eye. I like Mystic Force, don't get me wrong. The show does have problems, yes. But I'm honest with you, I think like I think like I think like one of the main problems with Mystic Force is the pacing, because the my god <clears throat> I'm gonna say it nicely. The pacing is boring as crap. The pacing is boring as crap. There are times, there are times that I just wanted to fall asleep because, like, oh my goodness, let this end already. It's so boring. <laughs> That's basically what I felt. If I want to fall asleep, I'll go watch Lupat and that show, and that show's bad. <laughs> I'll go watch Loop Pack, cause that show that show made me fall asleep. But no, I ain't torturing myself watching that show again. Ah, <sighs> yeah, yeah. I want to say this. This is like my little hot take, but uh, while well, yeah, the show focused way too much on it, cause he's basically he's basically the main character of the show. No doubt about it. Well, yes. Well, yes. This show. Well, yes. This show has so many problems. I'm not really done yet with it. But uh, I don't think Nick is a bad Red Ranger. He's not. He's not. He's not my favorite. But I don't think Nick is a. But Nick isn't a bad Red Ranger. Because Nick is way too much hate. If I'm gonna be honest with you, Phil, he gets way too much hate. He 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 does remind me a little bit of Kai from Magic Ranger. Again, then, again, then, I can respect Kai. Can begin in Magic Ranger. Kai was just basically annoying. He was just annoying, irresponsible, and that just got on my nerves. Y'all down here, y'all down here. We talk about Magic Ranger one day. I'm down to review that show. I'm down to talk about why I like that show, but uh. But uh, yeah, but uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Nick, Nick reminds me of Kai a little bit. So yeah, Nick isn't Nick isn't bad. No, he he isn't the worst Red Ranger. Oh God, no, that's no. We have Jaden, we have Levi, <laughs> Levi. Uh, we have uh, not Devin. I like Devin. No, uh, we have Troy. We have. Troy from Mega Force and Super Mega Force. We had Jaden from Samurai and Super Samurai. We had Levi from uh, Ninja Steel and Super Ninja Steel. How do I remember that? I didn't even watch Ninja Steel. That's the funny thing about it. Yeah, I I know about this stuff. <laughs> and no, I'm not watching Ninja Steel. That show's bad. <laughs> it it make it make it make the Japanese copper look innocent. <laughs> No, Ninja's, Ninja's bad. 
This is just bad. <laughs> so, uh, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> so I'm still laughing about that, but, uh, yeah, this is just bad. But, uh, yeah. Nick is in a bad way, Ranger. He's just. He isn't bad. He isn't terrible. He's kind, of, he's kind of boring. To be honest with you. He's kind of boring. Not fully boring. I did like I did like the moment in the show when uh when uh, he'll find his dad who was well Korak. Those were enjoyable. But other than that, yeah, it's just boring. He he wasn't annoying. He wasn't annoying. He he was annoying. He was annoying. He he isn't, he, he isn't a bad. Okay, Nick isn't a bad Red Ranger. Well, yes, he was annoying though. He isn't a bad. He he did get on my nerves. I want to say this. I want to say this one percent. The Rangers were being so lazy when, when they'll find the four tail when they'll find those monsters. Because the mummy's plan the whole time was to capture Jinji and the Rangers fell for it. And that was so dumb of them. I was like, you guys are morons. Because of you, the whole world fall into the darkness. Yeah, alright. The darkness. Ay, ay, ay. This show. <clears throat> well, Magic Ranger, it was totally different. It was totally different how... It was totally different how the Ranger fought the monsters over there than in here. Like, okay... Okay, when J when Xander when Xander when Xander uh used his act to select that samurai monster, Magic Ranger this monster this monster this monster basically did is cut the four siblings bond cut all four of the main siblings bond he cut the bond he cut Orochan Hokachan Tsubasa and Kai's uh family bond, and now uh, not 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 my boy Magic Green cut Hakai Sensei man saved him just in time. Which, which is why Hakai Sensei, which is why Hakai Sensei is a goat, just saying. But, uh, yeah, in that episode, I, in that episode, I like, I, in that episode, I like how you have to, I like how the, I like how in that episode, the, the Rangers, the Rangers, the Rangers, uh, the Rangers remember a long time, I mean, the Rangers somewhat, in that episode, remember, that the remember at the end of the day that remember I can't talk, but the Ranger <laughs> remember that they're all family, and and the man and the, and the man will go back to their normal self after that. Also, I just want to say this: I love the fact how Orochan, uh, I love the fact how Orochan, uh, did Orochan, uh, did it. She took out her life. She took out her college tuition. And bought a car. <laughs> like what? Wait, hold on. How you got a driver's license then? You can you can literally you you can literally you have magic and you can literally just oh I don't freaking know. I don't freaking know. No, use your bloom stick, but whatever. <laughs> ay yeah <ay>, yeah. <ay. laughs> ah, forget about magic ranger. <laughs> But uh, yeah, Imagine Ranger is way more, way more deep than here, Mystic Force. I'm trying to say. And same for the episode about the siren that 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 my boy Sebasa fought in Magic Ranger because 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 there was a girl soul that was that was kidnapped, and my boy my boy Sebasa had feelings for this girl. But yeah, Mystic Force. Yeah, no. No, Chip. No, Chip beat the siren again. While so, while while them ending out. What, what was her name again? Airy. Think what? Think what? While ending out that one girl footage from Magic Ranger. 
God damn it, Disney. <clears throat> ay, 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 ay. So, anyway. So, anyway, yeah. What 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 else can I talk about? What what else can I talk about for this show? What else can I talk about for this show? Uh, oh yeah, the Battleizer. Uh, the Nick's Battleizer in the show. Do I hate it? No, I did like it. It's pretty cool. So I can't so I can't be mad about that. Oh, hold on. Sorry, so I'm looking at something. But, uh, yeah. I, I actually, li actually like Nick's Battleizer. So. I think it, it looks really cool. Again, also, this Battleizer is not a Magic Ranger. So I want to clarify that. Same for the SPD Battleizer. Well. <laughs> hold on. I remember it because in the Decker Ranger versus Magic Ranger crossover movie, Bond Bond was using the one battle Elijah that Jack used in SPD. I'm not talking about I'm not talking about the first stage of the battle Elijah. I'm talking about the second stage of the battle Elijah. You know what I'm talking about then? Man, I need to go. I need to go back and watch that movie. <laughs> that and the Opera Ranger one too. But uh, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I like, I do like that battleizer for Nick. While yes, at time, while yes, there were times that it was very heavily CGI. I can't lie, it was very heavily CGI. Uh, I like it. It's pretty cool too. Also. Let me say this. I uh, I I love this theme song because the theme song's pretty awesome. <laughs> what was it? Did Ron Rashman? Did want Did Ron Rashman? Rashman did a theme song or not? Because I know that he did SPD and a few others after that. I think he. I think he did. I think he did a theme song. I gotta go back and check. But uh, yeah, this theme song. This theme song's pretty awesome. I like it. <laughs> We got the power of radio. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Huh. Now it was a bummer. Now it was a bummer to know. Now it was a bummer to know. Now it was a bummer to know that uh, I wish that Mystic Force had a crossover with SPD. But again, then that Disney can Disney Disney can well again the cast of SPD were doing their own stuff at the time because all the show the show was over as well. So yeah, but I really did I really did wish that uh I really did wish that we got we got like oh I don't know a somewhat a crossover because. <laughs> They could have pulled a hat. Well, they they couldn't. They can't pull a Hasbro because Hasbro didn't Power Rangers. Was Hasbro didn't have Power Rangers in the early two thousand. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. But uh, yeah, I wish I wish there was like a crossover that kind of done because like oh, I don't know Disney. You guys, you guys had like you guys. So what? What you guys did have like. Oh, I don't know. Not not like it's not like Mystic Force and SPD Japanese Comport had a crossover movie. Oh no, 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 they did not. No. They did not. Just saying, 
if you if you can do if you can do one for Dino Thunder in XPD, what stop you from doing one for Mystic Force in XPD? Just saying. Well, again, then getting the again the cast was the cast were doing their own thing at the time when XPD was over. But yeah, well, we somewhat got a cross. We somewhat we somewhat got a little bit of an XPD crossover. Piggy was in the show. Just appear, just just appear like from just appear like what? Well, like what for a few minutes of the show, then just left. That's pretty much it. So yeah. But uh under that, yeah. So what do you think? <sighs> Mystic Force. I love the suit. I love the theme song. I love Korak. <sighs> I I haven't talked I haven't talked about the power up. The the myth the the up the Sailor Moon power ups. I like them, they're okay. <laughs> I per I pretty kind of for them I pretty kind of prefer them in Magic Ranger more because like there's more context in Magic Ranger than in Mystic Four, but but uh, that's just that's just my preference and opinion. But uh, but uh, yeah, but uh, yeah. Uh, what are they in Mystic Four and show? Love the suits. Love the theme song. Lo uh, I, I like the Megazord. I like Piggy. Not Piggy. I mean, I love Phineas. I love Xander. I like Daggeron. I like Chip. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I like Claire. Claire. Claire's cute. Not gonna lie. And <laughs> and, and also also see what also see what enjoyable in the show. Baby Beemo again the female version of Boom. <laughs> I like Udana again. Then I didn't like that the show was. I didn't like. I got the show dropped the ball with the reveal of Nick being, well, Bowie. But, but again, then that's just me. I have somewhat more negative than positive. For positive, uh, for negative, I did not care for any of the. I did not care for the first two villain, first two ball, first two villain that were serving the master because they were just. Boring and stupid. <sighs> the monster were just treated like every other monster of the week, which I'll be honest with you, I just if, if, if I'm frank, if I'm frank, if I'm frankly gonna be honest with you, I need this. I want to say this. Can Power Rangers stop changing monsters like monsters we can get like an actual character somewhat because. Well, yes, I can't. Well, yes, this is coming from me, guys that watch Super Sentai. I watch like a lot of Super Sentai. But me by Super Sentai, they somewhat give them a character. In Power Rangers, nope. They just treat, they just treat them, they just treat them like, they just treat them like Monster of the Week. And that's just getting a tad bit annoying, though. I think it's Super Sentai, they somewhat get, this is Super Sentai, somewhat they got like a, somewhat of a character. But on Power Rangers, nope. They're just they're just treated they're just treated as monster of the week. And that's just, and that's just pretty sad to be honest with you. Beside 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 beside, beside Petubo, there's like that fails monster that fails monster. I forgot her name. My bad. I forgot her name. <laughs> Well, I did that. That's pretty much it. But uh, well, what are they music for? It's uh, I'll give it a C. I'll give it a C because this show is somewhat. This show, this show's pacing is awful and boring. So there, there are a few candidates that I like. Also, I for, I forgot to say I like the I I like the uh I like the boss who 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 owns that music that music shop I like him he's goofy but I I like him but uh, yeah I did that 
Mr. Force, let me say, I give it a C because the pacing is awful and boring. They they dropped the ball with with the whole Nick and Bowie subplot. And uh and some of the and some of the villains are just some of the villains have, have zero personality called well, again this is power range what I'm saying. Some of the villains have zero personality which just boring to watch at times. I just didn't care for them. So what I think uh, I the uh, nostalgia, but nostalgia opened my eyes for the show. Well, I think, well, I think, well, I think that, well, I think there are a good few things in the show that I like. But yeah, I have more negative toward po than positive. But that's just me. But uh, yeah, that's my review on Pirate and Mystic Force. Do I hate the show? No, it's it's okay. They, ay ay ay, it's 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 an okay show. But uh, but uh, yeah, this but uh, yeah uh, please like, comment, subscribe, put my notification on for the next video, which will be like a tour review on what I think I'm gonna think I'm gonna review the Lightning Collection. Luna Wolf Ranger, cause I just got American like a couple of days ago, and I'm loving the figure. Got got to take pictures of Shelby soon. I'll get on I'll get onto her soon, but uh, yeah. Follow all my social media in the description as well, because I'll be I'll be well, come on, I'll be I'll be treating a lot of crap on Twitter, and so yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'll put the oh uh, yeah, oh uh, yeah. Um, uh, hope it, yeah. I hope, I hope, I hope you all enjoy this podcast. It's a pretty fun game. My, it's pretty, it's pretty fun game. My two cents on stuff that I like and don't like about these shows. But hey, that that's just me. But yeah, my name Brooklyn. I'm out. See ya.